Here's the breaking news. A federal judge temporarily halting President Trump's travel ban. The Justice Department saying it will review the judge's order and determine the next steps. I want to bring in now CNN senior political analyst David Gergen. Also Jack Kingston, a former senior advisor to the Trump campaign. David Rhodes, CNN global affairs analyst. Presidential historian Douglas Brinkley, the author of Rightful Heritage, Franklin D. Roosevelt in the Land of America. And CNN legal analyst Laura Coates. A big panel because this is a big story. <laughs> uh, David Gergen, you first. I mean, this is a stunning blow. Uh, in your assessment I'm at, to the president's travel ban. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. It was astonishing. Listen, uh, Don, I think in fairness, it, it, new presidents often come out of the gate and make a stumble. You know, John Kennedy had his Bay of Pigs in his first 100 days. Bill Clinton had his old controversy over gays in the military the first 100 days. You can go down the list. But I must say, I cannot remember uh, having, a president, uh, having a president who has had so much chaos surrounding his presidency in the first hundred days. And you know, they, they brought, you know, I understand they were trying to address a serious concern they had, but they brought this on themselves by the way they drafted that. They didn't have the lawyers, they didn't have the you know, skeletal team, they didn't want to talk to the Justice Department. They needed to vet this in a way that it would have passed constitutional muster and not had this problem. Great. Like Laura Coates, I know you want to um, you want to get in on this. Given everything that's happened, when you uh, can all of the things that have happened, the uh, acting attorney general being fired, what just happened uh, with this judge now in Washington State, can all that be brought into court? Oh, of course. I mean, it's all going to be part of both the government's argument as to why they should their order should be upheld in Washington, and also the uh, I mean, in, in Massachusetts, and also why the ACLU and other interests will be interested in having it upheld in Washington State. But remember, the big elephant in the room is the fact that. The president was granted the authority by Congress to determine who could gain entry into the country. And there is a big def deference that is given to the president, whether we like it or not, about national security interests. The problem here and why there is a constitutional dilemma is because we have to decide about those three branches of government, whether or not the executive privilege that is, is given to the president and that deference runs afoul of our constitutional principles. And that's why we're in a situation where nine justices, and perhaps you could do it with if there's a majority in one way or the other. But that's what the grappling issue is with. The big elephant in the room is that the presidential prerogative holds a lot of weight when it comes to national security. All right. Thank you, everyone. Uh, federal judge temporarily halting the president's travel ban. Now what?